Hello, I'm Connell from PopCode and I'm going to take you through the first steps of creating content for the PopCode platform. To start with, download the PopCode Developer Kit from the website popcode.info forward slash developers. I've already downloaded the kit and I have it here. If you double click and then click Extract, it creates a new folder and inside this folder there are a number of interesting files and folders. The documentation is a copy of the documentation on the website and this video will take you through the first part of the tutorial. The Packages folder is where you cre create content and the Popcode Test Target folder contains a high-res image here uh, which is the image we're going to augment with content. You can print this out. Uh, also the Popcode Test Target file is the file that tells the uh, Popcode system how to recognize the image and we'll use this file in a moment. Also here there's Scene Viewer which allows you to check your content on the PC and Image Trainer, which allows you to take your own images and train them up for use uh, in the PopCode system. So to start with, I'm going to go into Packages, and you can see here there are a number of examples already there, but for the moment I'm going to create a new package called a Simple Package. In here I'm going to create a new file, a text document, called manifest.xml. Now, uh, here if we go to uh, tools folder options. We've not actually created a .xml file here because Windows is hiding extensions for known file types. So if I untick this and click OK, we see here it's actually a .txt file. So if I rename that so that it's actually .xml. Yes. So if I edit this in Notepad, uh, the manifest tells the popcode platform some information about the, the files and the details of your package. So this is xml and contains one node. Title equals simple package description equals a simple AR demo it's scene equals scene.xml we'll create this file in a moment target equals popcode test target dot target close that so if we save and close this file the first thing I'm going to do is copy the target file from the popcode test target folder into that uh, package. I'm going to create uh, that scene.xml file now. So the scene.xml file describes the content to show. It all happens within one scene node. In here I'm going to create an object. The type is going to be primitives plain.ar or one of the supplied primitive objects. So if I save this file and go back and open scene viewer, if you have more than one webcam connected then you get to select your webcam but I'm going to choose this one. So you can see here the popcode test target that I've printed out. If I go to open and select simple package and then click OK you can see here just a, a simple plane augmented on top of the popcode test target. I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. If I go back to my scene.xml file, I'm going to add a transition. There are more details about uh, transitions in the tutorial and the reference documentation. Um, I'm going to add an ID for this object. My plane. Transition. I'm going to transition a, pro a property of the my plane object. I'm going to transition its rotation. I'm going to start at a yaw, pitch, and roll of 0 degrees and end at 360 degrees. And it's going to take 2 seconds, 2000 milliseconds. If I save that file now and then go back to Scene Viewer and hit Reload, when I view it, it starts spinning around. I can reload it to see it again. There we go. All right, now let's take a look at this uh, running on a mobile phone. So I'm going to close Scene Viewer um, and close this. And so I'm going to connect my, my phone up and select the USB storage mode of the phone. It'll take just a second. Turn on USB storage. Oh, 
Oh, so let me uh, access USB storage. Here we go. Now, if we go to uh, packages and copy our simple package folder onto the SD card of the phone and rename it to pop code content, all one word. And if I safely remove now and turn off storage mode on the phone and unplug it. When I start up the popcode application, the center of the popcode test target has a popcode that points to the storage card. So if I pop it, we'll see our rotating plane augmented onto the popcode test target on the phone. So that's the first steps for putting content on the popcode platform. Um, good luck creating your own content.